this water is cold. It almost looks like an ancient temple or something. More of a crouch. The west coast of the South Island of New Zealand is known for some dramatic limestone formations from the Operara arches up in Karamea all the way down to the Pancake Rocks at Punakaki. The entire area is full of nooks and crannies, caves and karsts. We've seen the karst formations that are reminiscent of something out of Southeast Asia. We've seen those up off the Paparoa track near Fox River. Today, we're getting quite a bit off the beaten track to go looking for some of these hidden caves of the West Coast. Something over here. Definitely technical though. Massive log jam. You I mean, might be able to dig it out and go around the side, but definitely need some ropes for this one. So the thing about doing what we're doing today is you have to be really careful about stuff like this. There could be sinkholes and all sorts of things that you could fall down in and get stuck. And one of the reasons why moa bones occur in caves so frequently in New Zealand is because the, the, that very thing happened to those giant birds which are now extinct. They fall down in holes like this and uh, end up dying down there and that's their final resting place. So whenever you go looking for caves you have to be very careful because you could step on something and you think it's just like a, a bunch of dead uh, leaves or twigs or something like that and fall straight through a sinkhole down something like that. mud and some tight passages up here. Oh my god, I'm knee deep already. Oh man. I mean, it's getting real deep. think we're going to be able to go any further. I'm so glad I got nips deep though. But do you want to go all the way? Oh, yeah, I want to go all the way. I feel like I've, I feel like I've gone all the way. I mean this, like up there is just you know, straight diving. So don't know that we'll be doing that today. Glow worms. Wet 
bones. Probably from the last guy that explored that cave. This looks like maybe some. Nope. Big log jam. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look like it goes. Maybe a squeeze now. I mean it opens up, there's like a hole here to go above. But uh, yeah, I mean I think we can get through this hole around the other side too, so. This massive cave entrance. It almost looks like an ancient temple or something out in the middle of the jungle. It looks like it goes through. Amazing. Wow. This thing's giant. How tight did that get? Yeah. Find anything back there? Some calcite over here. Yeah. I'm dripping down, forming this. Probably a good time to talk about cave etiquette. Obviously, leave no trace. Don't uh, spray paint or graffiti the walls. Ideally, you don't want to touch the calcite formations. You don't want to break off stalactites or stalagmites. Any of the calcite formations, leave them alone. When you touch them, it crushes the crystalline structure. It's like a lattice crystal structure of the calcite formation. And when you crush it, it'll stop growing. And then you get like a brown discoloration in it. Um, something else is you don't want to ever go to the bathroom in a cave. You have to use like a bag, a wag bag, you know, which you might be familiar with for mountaineering or canyoneering, but 
want to pack out your solid waste. Another thing is you want to bring at least two sources of light with you. Usually, um, North America, they recommend three sources of light, but here they say two. Tell someone where you're going. And, and before you go into to a cave, you want to make sure you have experience or are with someone who is experienced. Helmets, so key when you're caving. I cracked my head on a stalactite once, and it, ah, man, I was lucky I didn't do really a lot more damage. Because, uh, man, that hurt. Yeah, I'll get the search and rescue. Does it look like it opens up? Yeah, nah. Okay, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go make dinner. This came through up there like a ton of stinging nettle. So much stinging nettle coming through there. But look at this awesome karst here. And that's uh, really choked over there though, unfortunately. like that is painful oh this is cool oh that looks like something huh pit huh i was like up here up on the edge of that or here i was like oh we definitely can't get down that way Big over there. Maybe to the left. Oh, it feels so nice and cool in the shade, huh? That is a steep drop right there though. I don't know. That's super deep right there. Yeah. so bad yet. I'm not laying on my stomach yet. More of a, more of a crouch. Yeah. Okay. No, what? Big drop off? Really? Yeah. Uh, 
So you don't want to down climb that? Big drop. Yeah. Big drop. Can Tyrellian traverse across? Maybe. I mean, why else would that be there? Yeah, definitely not a down climb. Definitely not a down climb. And then the one to the right, one over there, maybe we can drop in over there and walk up and take a look. Um, yeah. No. Looks choked anyway. Infamous.